Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. It is a beautiful December today, beautiful December day. Um, it is like 55 and it is sunny. I thought it was perfect filming weather. Um, so I wanted to get on here and film how I blow dry my hair. Clearly my hair is wet. I've let it air dry for a couple hours. Um, and I'm going to show you the products I use and how I do it. And really it's how do I achieve the volume and then the big like Kim Kardashian outward waved hair and some of the things what I use. Now I'm also um, going to film I think later on today um, a video for a review of the NYX Butt Naked palette. Um, I've been using this for quite some time and I really wanted to like get a feel for it, hit pan a little bit so I could like, there you guys see my camera, so I could um, talk to you guys about it. So if you want to hear more about this and you want to see my little review, then um, check my next video that is coming out and I do have it on my eyes now. I did do that and if you want to see an eye tutorial with the next button, you can let me know. Okay, so um, for blow drying my hair, I, like I told you guys, um, I use a deep conditioner. Uh, I wash my hair probably about two to three times a week. Now I'm trying to grow my hair out long. You can tell, look at how naturally curly it is. It is naturally curly like this. Um, one thing that I love that I just finished, and I don't have enough empties to like do an empties video, but I wanted to share with you this. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Conditioner. I just finished this up. There's like hardly anything left. There's like a very, very little bit, but it's really watered down. Um, and I just recently, it smells delicious. This was like $30. I got this at Ulta. Um, Every time I shower, I use this unless I'm using like a deep, deep oil conditioner like coconut oil or something, then obviously I won't double up on this, but um, I do put this just on my ends from like here down. This has lasted me forever. Um, I recently just purchased a Moroccan oil deep conditioner, which I'll do a review on um, how they compare and which one I like better, but um, this one is great. So I shampooed and conditioned my hair with organics, and I'm using the Akai Berry now is the kind I'm using. And then, um, before I get out of the shower, I put this on the ends of my hair and I let it soak in for five or six minutes. Then I rinse it out and I also do a shot of cold water in my hair. It's supposed to help with the shine, so I do do that. And then what I'm going to do is I let it air dry, okay? And um, the products that I use in my hair are the Healthy Sexy Hair. This was in my favorites video, Soy Wheat um, Leave-In Conditioner. I really just spray that all over. I use a long, like a big wide tooth comb to comb it all through. And then on my ends, I use this, and I've applied both already. This is the Argan Oil, the one and only. I've also talked about some of my favorite videos. This was $11 at Ulta. I think this was like $12. I think this was a little pricey, but um, it's a huge bottle. It lasts you forever. And I just put this a little bit on my ends, okay, to start. The brush I'm going to be using for this tutorial is from Brush Lab. It's the orange one. I've talked about this in my um, video. You can get this at brushlab.com or, and I'll put a link for that in the bottom bar. Um, I'll name all these products below and I've talked about them a lot in my favorites and like I said, everything you can find um, is at Ulta if you have an Ulta near you. Um, yeah, so I'll put um, all the products I use in the bottom bar and uh, I'll link where you can get this brush from. And then the hair dryer I'm using, and I've talked about this in my favorites, it's the Elkeem. Alkeem, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, 3001. And I'm going to show you my technique, and then I'll fast forward through part of this video so you don't have to hear me and see me blow drying my whole head, and then we'll talk about what I do when I get to the top. So basically what I do is I split my hair in half here, and I take the round brush, and I put my hair over the round brush like this. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be blow drying my hair forward, okay? And then I'm going to do it a second time. Blow dry it forward. Now I'm going to show you this um, like I'm going to be hitting the camera with it because this is what's going to create that body and it's a little different than um, the one that you go down and I've done that routine before and I, I just I didn't like it for me and for my hair. Um, I have a lot of hair but it is a little thinner and that to me just created these two crazy curls, clumped up curls. I didn't like that. I like the more outward curls um, effect and I'll show you how I do that. So I turn this on the high power and I'm just going to show you and I'm going to stop talking because you won't be able to hear me what I do. I'm going to do the other side 
do the next part of my hair, fast forward for you, and then we'll talk about what I do when I get to the top, okay? So again, here we go. Okay, now that actually wasn't on the high seat in the middle. I, that's why it kind of took me a little longer in the middle. I just had to turn it on the high seat. That's annoying. But, um, so it took me a little longer than normal. But as you can tell, when I get to the ends, like, you know, when you dry your roots, okay, that helps the rest of your hair dry faster, okay? So that's why I'm concentrating on the roots here. And then, as you saw, like the fifth or sixth time, I started just doing drying my ends and going around around the round brush and that gives it that flipped out effect okay like you see here okay so now I'm gonna do the other side now you can split this hair some people split this into two sections and do it that way and do this and then this you can do that I'm using thicker sections so it takes a little longer but I just feel like I don't know I don't wanna spend forever on little tiny sections of hair I'm not that crazed about making it perfect but um, I'm gonna do this side I'm gonna show you this side then I'm gonna fast forward and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the top little curl there. Um, it's just going to help your hair stand out a little bit instead of just flat against your head. And it's just such a subtle curl, but you can see it developing here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to this next half, taking it down. And at the arch of your eyebrows up is where I part my hair, almost like diagonal. Okay, and I'm going to take that part up. Twist it up, put it up, make sure my little bangs here, everything gets put up high. I'm just using this little clip, by the way. Get that at like Sally's or whatever. Okay, and I'm going to work on the next half of my head here. And, you know, just split it up, put your dry hair back there and start. And here, because my hair is, like I said, I have a lot of it, but it is kind of thin, here is where you can kind of split it in two and work in sections. Um, you can clip this now if you want, like, over if that helps you or whatever you need to do. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin. But you're doing the same thing, okay? Now this time I'm going to pull this out, almost like diagonal, like how your arm would go out in like a T. Think of it that way, okay? And for this, I'm going to pull forward, so out and forward for this one closer to my head, okay? So just think of that when you're starting.
Okay guys, I'm back. Here I am. Now, this is the bottom half of my hair. Um, so as you can tell, it is pretty dry. I don't use a flat iron anymore. So what you saw there is there was just a piece that I could see in this big mirror over here that looked like it was still kind of damp. And so I just went over pieces. And if there are pieces like that, you can just go over it. Because, you know, I'm kind of doing the bigger picture. I'm, I'm just blow drying thicker sections just to get it done. And since I don't flat iron my hair, I do take a little more time with the blow drying now. So we're going to talk about the top. Okay, so what I do is I split this top in half, okay? So, split it in half, put that back there, and then I take this, and it's my bangs and a little bit of the rest of my hair. Just clip it to the side, clip it away, and then take your hair back here, okay? And this we're going to blow dry forward, okay? Um, I put my round brush behind the hair, just like this, and again, you're going to see me just blow drying the roots here, and then I'm going to do that a few times, and then I'm, you're going to see me start to pull it forward, the brush forward with the hair, so I'll show you. And just kind of see how I'm twirling it like I did the other hair? Um, that's going to give you a lot of body. Now, there is some coming down here on the side, so what I'm just going to do is, you know, and do this with any of your extra pieces. Just know where you're blow drying. I'm going to blow dry the hair. piece was on top but it was kind of as you saw probably in the camera I don't know if you guys saw but it was like falling down um, it was the side it wasn't just it just wasn't getting blow dried enough but look at that body can you guys tell look at all that look at that okay really does make a difference how you blow dry your hair. I used to have to use a straightener because my hair just was not getting straight just by blow drying it and now I don't have to. So, I don't know. And I kind of have this little ombre, light ombre effect. I don't know if you guys can tell. My roots are really dark and it's a little lighter down here. I was trying to go for like a dark ombre. I know people say it's out, but I wanted to try it. It's very subtle. I don't even know if the camera can pick it up or if you can even tell. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so then I'm going to take my last section here. Now, I have these little bangs that kind of have grown out, but they're still there. Look at how curly my hair is. Can you guys tell what I was talking about? It is curly central. So I'm just, I don't know if you guys have these, I'm just trying to separate those bangs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip them all to one side for now. And I am going to do the same thing here. That's part of my little bang as I did, as you just saw, pulling it forward. And doing this sometimes helps when I just brush up like this before I blow dry because it helps all those bangs come forward. But I'm going to do something a little different here, a little different trick, so I will show you. Okay. So after I, as you saw, was blow drying it in like that circle motion, be careful because sometimes it, your hair does get caught in here, this little round part, which is kind of annoying. You don't want to pull it. But um, I will hold it up here, and this is just going to give it more of a curl and more body. Um, and just be careful, yeah. Like when I was doing this with the round brush and the blow dryer, if you just... it up here and blow dry for a little bit. This acts kind of like a hot roller um, because it's ceramic. It heats up and it helps control um, frizz and keep the curl. And by the way, this, remember to always blow dry down. Sometimes I forget to do that, but blow dry down. Don't blow dry up because it'll create more frizz. And so I'm pulling it here and then I just let it kind of 
fall back. And you just want to get just that added shininess, bounce, and body. Okay, last but certainly not least are these little bangs. If you guys don't have these bangs, you don't have to worry about this. You can just sit back and relax. But for those of us that do, this is how I do them. I first just take them around the round brush, just like this, and blow dry. Now the thing is, by the time you get to your bangs, if you have like a lot of hair like me, they're usually basically dry, so you really have to um, shape them. Because if your hair is curly or wavy or frizzy or unruly or something, you know, that's how they're going to dry. They're not just going to dry perfectly straight. So I'm just pulling them a little bit off my forehead, going around in a circle. And there's a lot of ways you can do your bangs. You can leave them like this, you know, if you wanted that, like, um, bang like this in your face. You can do them. You basically can do them anything. I'll show you the other way you can do them. You can do them like this. And I just... You know, took the round brush, put the hair around it, did the opposite way, and again, acts as a hot roller. And hold them there. I don't know which way I'm going to do my bangs. I always do them this way, so... And you just let them fall whatever way they fall. And that's like if you want them just to kind of be split into the side. Almost like a Kim Kardashian sort of bang. Um, I'm going to do them like this. So this is the finished product. There's one last step I do. Turn your hairdresser onto the coolest setting you have. We're going to flip our hair over. So our head, we're going to be upside down. And we're going to blow dry now just for some added... Um, body and it's just gonna help set everything and the cool air like the cool water is gonna help set the hairstyle the curl everything like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this so this is the last and most important step I'm gonna take my hair I'm gonna flip it over gently take my hair dryer in the coolest setting and I hope you guys can see this hold on I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this okay here we go and I'm gonna just gonna blow dry my hair upside down a little bit And then you can flip it back and you know your bangs I just put them back and push them up just a little bit and this just kind of gives you added I don't know glamour like Victoria's Secret glamour I feel now I wish this would stay this way when I wake up but usually when I wake up the next day it's not always as glamorous as it is here but you know just kind of play with it if you want you can take some Moroccan oil, argan oil, um, sometimes I'll just take some I have a little bit of Moroccan oil by FX, I don't have it here you can use argan oil, whatever you have, just take a little bit and apply it to your ends if you want when you're done blow drying and that'll just help seal in the cuticle and do some added shine there and so that's it that's how I blow dry my hair for some body. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment before, below. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah. There it is. I'll show you back. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um... Yeah, and I will hopefully see you in my next video where we will be reviewing the NYX Butt Naked Palette. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!